Can Christian women wear jewelry or makeup? This question is asked so many times and today we're getting into it. 1 Timothy 2 verse 9 says, Women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self-control. 1 Peter 3 verse 3 through 4 says, Do not let your adorning be external, the braiding of the hair, or the putting on of gold jewelry, or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart, with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. So here we have Paul explaining the difference between inner beauty and outer beauty. We know that God does not look at the outer appearance. God does not care about what you look like. God looks at the inside. God looks at your heart. What Paul and Peter are both explaining is that what should matter more to a person is what their heart looks like, not what their outer appearance looks like. Paul is not saying that women can never do their hair or never wear jewelry or never wear makeup, but it's more so about overindulging in these things. These can become easily an idol in our lives. When you think that you need these things to look or feel good, then that is an idol. You shouldn't overly focus on your outer appearance. So no, it is not a sin to wear jewelry or wear makeup or have your hair braided, but look at the intentions of what you're doing. It can become a sin when it's idolized, when it becomes a form of vanity, or when you're seeking to entice people or make guys lust over you. A lot of women wear makeup and jewelry because they don't feel good about themselves. And I'm here to remind you that you are made in the image of God. Okay, God makes no mistakes. You should never seek your validation from people around you. You don't need these things to feel good about yourself. Your worth and your value are not determined by what you look like. It's about who you are on the inside. Your beauty does not come from outer appearance, it comes from within. With that being said, your outer appearance should reflect who you are on the inside. It should bring glory and honor to God. Proverbs 31 17 says, she dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. Proverbs 31 verse 25 says, strength and dignity are her clothing. In this generation, it's so easy to get caught up in comparison, especially with social media and these unrealistic beauty standards that are being set all around us when it comes to actors, models, celebrities who are all altering and butchering their true identity and just giving young ladies this false expectation and beauty standards of what they should look like. But this is why it's so important to understand that our worth and our value comes from God, not from the world, not from what man thinks, not from society's standards. Your identity is in Christ and your worth and your value is in Christ. And God says we are priceless. But the deeper issue is not so much the jewelry or the clothes or the hairstyles, it's the heart. What is your intentions? What are your motives? If God personally convicts you to stop wearing makeup because you feel that you need it to look good or feel good, then you have to follow that personal conviction. God took me on a season where I could not wear makeup because for years I could not even walk out the house without makeup, you guys. But um, now I wear it, you know, in modest ways, in a modest manner. So it's just important for us to all be discerning on what to wear and what to do with our bodies. The intention should never be to cause attention towards yourself or to cause lust or entice people. There is nothing wrong with makeup and jewelry and braided hair, as long as it's done in a modest manner. Remember, you are made in the image of Christ, okay? God made no mistakes when he created you.